Hey, Thomas Tap here, and today I'm gonna to be answering a question that I saw in the YouTube comments. I thought it was a really good one. It's about the parkour roll. If you're struggling to get the parkour roll, I know a lot of us have trouble mastering it. Um, some of these tips today that I'm gonna share with you can help you out, or possibly might help you out. So here's the question. It was from Morgan Freeman. It's a great name. Um, and he says he's been training for about a few months now, about four months, and he's gotten a lot of the moves. He's been improving and he's been really trying to perfect his parkour roll. He has it down solid on the ground, but when he tries to do the roll from a high or from a high drop, he finds that he feels like he rolls too late and takes all the pressure in the landing and the roll is pretty much pointless after that. So what he's des describing is he can do the roll on the ground, so he can do it standing, but off of height, maybe a little bit higher than this, when he does the roll, it, the landing all goes into his legs and then when he goes into the roll it's like it's pointless after that and if any of us are experiencing this there's a few things that we can do and Morgan I'm gonna tell you a few things that will help with this and I know in some of the comments some of the people some of you awesome guys subscribers out there actually commented and gave them some great answers to solve this issue so when we're jumping and doing the parkour roll it's good that you have it mastered on the ground level but when we start going with height it's important that we do these few things. One, when we're jumping off of height, we need to make sure that we always have forward momentum to help go into the roll. So if we're jumping off something, and this can be kind of scary at times because, you know, if we're high up, the last thing we feel like doing is really having a confident leap out and forward with some momentum. So a lot of this, you just have to be confident with your jump. And when we have this forward momentum, it's supposed to if you just take the drop here without forward momentum, it's going to be a lot harder to go into that roll and to really transition to that roll. If you have good forward momentum, it's a lot easier to just go into that roll. And as the higher the higher we get, the further out you want to jump jump off. So you'll see in some of my videos when I'm off, just jumping off of high things, I really make sure to jump out a good distance so I can maintain that momentum to go into the roll. The second thing is when we're taking a drop from height and we want to go into that roll smoothly, we can land after we jump out and jump out a good distance, we can land at a slight angle going forward. What this will do is automatically set us up to transition to that roll. So instead of here, you're here and it just takes you into that roll. Another thing what leaning forward will do is if you're slightly lean forward it's going to make it a lot harder for you to go past 90 degrees on your roll so if you're slightly lean forward it's easier to maintain good technique because you're going to be here and as you're going down you're going to go into that roll instead of having the weight going down and back you're automatically going to be going forward the other thing i want to mention is having the hands up and ready for the roll. I noticed this one a long time ago. I was struggling a little bit with my roll and I found out when I was jumping out, my hands were by my waist here. If you have your hands up and kind of in the, the shape that you're gonna have for your roll, it makes it a lot easier to take that jump because you're gonna have a lot of speed, especially with more height, the more momentum you have, you're gonna go into that roll very fast. So when you, if we can have our hands up and ready to go into that roll, position, it's going to make it a lot easier to transition to that roll. So remember that as well. Keep the hands up and ready to go into that roll. And then the last thing is, of course, having good muscle strength. If our legs can't take the impact that we're trying to jump from, then they're basically going to collapse and either you're going to uh, cause knee damage from going here too far or you're going to collapse and your knees are going to hit the ground in front of you. If your knees are hitting the ground in front of you when you're doing rolls and stuff like that, that's a sign that the height is probably a little too much for your legs or your technique's a little off. So what we want to do, and I've made a video on how to strengthen the legs specifically for drops, you can watch that video over here and we'll have a link to that in the description. So Morgan, implement some of those tips, and if any of you out there are struggling with the parkour roll, remember those things. Really jump out 
when you're performing a jump off height to go into your roll, also land slightly forward. And uh, someone described it as landing in a Y position. I really like that analogy. So you make sure to have a slight lean forward so you can easily transition to that roll. And also make sure to have those arms up so you can quickly go into the roll when you have that speed. And then of course, strengthen the legs so they can really take that impact. And then always remember, you know, gradually progress into added height and added jumps and rolls. Thanks again for the question. If you have a question about the parkour roll or any tips, make sure to leave in the comments below. And as always, train safe. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next video.